Hello all and welcome to another, Ke another Kevin Aaron Timid video. It's Art here with the book review for The Man Who Smiled by Henning Minkle, the fourth Kurt Wallander book. Uh, and the current one that I just finished reading, I read it for March Mystery Madness, one of my gritty prompt, dirty prompt books. And you'll see why it's gritty here in a second. First things first, I love how Henning Minkle takes time to let the main character, Kurt Vollander, marinate over what happened in the last book. He doesn't just throw him back into police work. He makes him kind of teeter on quitting the police force in the beginning, and it's a slow burn to see him come back into detective work for good reason, because if you read the, the last book, The White Lioness, then you know what happened that shook him up so badly that he needs to take time and get it done. Um, it's gritty for that reason because Kurt Vollander's life is messed up in a gritty mess. It's gritty because the murders themselves are gritty and gruesome and uh, altogether kind of uns... I don't want to say unsolvable, but like... Uh, checkered with things that could be problematic or hinder investigation. So, uh, Henning Minkle does a wonderful job on that. He does a wonderful job in showing a day-to-day -day life in a police officer and in the police force. He shows a wonderful job in the day-to-day -day life of a cop that is shattered from events that happened previously. He humanizes Kurt Vollander in a way that we can, we don't necessarily need to sympathize with him, but we can empathize and understand where Kurt Vollander's coming from, and I think that is most important in a lot of ways. I think that is key in a lot of ways. I really, really do. Um, I like how things unravel slowly. The cops don't know exactly what they're doing. As per any usual investigation, like not, they get a grip of what's going on and they have places to go, but in the beginning they're a little bit unsure of where to step and what to do, which is what really happens in true police investigations. You have one line of questioning that may not work or you might get blocked because a certain person doesn't want you to go there and that certain person has power over either government or police department or has the money to stop you with lawyers and, and gum things up and that all happens in the book. Um, you see Kurt Vollander get readjusted to police work because it's been over a year since he uh, did any police work. You see all that. Henning Minkle doesn't drive it out. He keeps the plot moving. He keeps the plot going and pushes it forward. But he pushes it forward in a realistic manner. In a manner in which a true detective would actually go through. The mystery itself is deep, engrossing, ever spider web unwinding, uh, as most of the Henning Minkle Kurt Vollander books are. Um, it is deep, it is engrossing, and you will find reasons to read it. On my own scale, it's a read it, own it, love it, I own it in print, I own it on my Kindle, and I own it in Audible. So I can enjoy it any format I choose to enjoy it. It is a 5 out of 5 on the Goodreads scale. Because where it's slow, it's intentionally slow. And that's important. It is not... Not all 5 out of 5s are perfect books. There are some flaws. But the flaws, I think, are either so many school that you won't mind them. Or they're meant to be there as a plot or story device. So it in that way, that's why it's a five out of five for me in the Goodreads scale, a read it only love it on my scale. The Kurt Vollander series seems to me as I get deeper and deeper into it, a series that you cannot and should not miss. I find that a lot of European authors' mysteries are deeper, they're more grittier, they're I won't say better because Top American mystery authors are, are really, really good, too. You've got your Michael Connellys, your Craig Johnsons, your Jeffrey Devers, your John Sanfords. 
they're really, really good when they're on top of their game. But it seems to me that the European, um, Swedish, British, uh, Irish, and all other European countries that I'm not, I'm forgetting to mention here, they're deeper, they're grittier, they really get into what drives the story, and they'll do anything to serve the story, which I think is immensely important that they do anything that serves the story. That is truly, truly, truly important. It's really good, and it's really important. So, before I gush on too long and give away any details that I don't want to give away because I want to give you a chance to read it, leave in the comments down below if you read anything by um, Henning Minkle, either the Kurt Volinger series or anything else that you think I should read, or any other European or American uh, mystery authors that you think are on that level, leave that in the comments down below. Let me know too if you've decided to read the Henning Minkle Kurt Volinger series because I think it's great. And until next time, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, happy reading. The game is afoot. I'll see you again soon. And peace.